In a baffling twist of legal theatrics, special counsel Jack Smith took aim at a federal judge's peculiar penchant for jury instructions in the ongoing saga of former President Donald Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents. Jack Smith, renowned for his razor-sharp wit, didn't hold back in lambasting Judge Aileen Cannon's request, dismissing it as a masterclass in legal absurdity. Smith minced no words, asserting that the judge's whimsical notions could turn the trial into a circus act of distorted legal logic. The crux of the matter lies in Judge Cannon's perplexing demand for jury instructions crafted from the netherworld of legal imagination, focusing on scenarios derived from the Presidential Records Act. Smith's legal brain trust swiftly swooped in, decrying these scenarios as nothing short of preposterous. According to them, the judge's concoctions are built on a foundation so shaky that even Humpty Dumpty would balk. Nick Akerman, a seasoned legal mind who navigated the murky waters of the Watergate scandal, couldn't help but nod in agreement with Smith's blistering critique. If there's one thing this case is accomplishing with aplomb, it's drawing spectators in with its blend of legal gymnastics and comedic flair. As the, the trial unfolds like a Shakespearean comedy of errors, one thing is certain, with Judge Cannon's whims and Smith's sarcasm in the mix, the courtroom drama promises to be a performance for the ages. So overnight, Special Counsel Jack Smith taking on the judge overseeing the classified documents case, really confronting Judge Eileen Cannon over her requests for jury instructions that embrace Donald Trump's claims that he had broad authority to take the documents with him when he left the White House. Smith pushing back really quite hard in this filing, writing in part that the court should be aware at the outset that Trump's entire effort to rely on the Presidential Records Act is not based on any facts. It is a post hoc justification that was concocted more than a year after he left the White House and going on to say there is no basis in law or fact that legal presumption and the court should reject Trump's effort to invent one as a vehicle to inject the Presidential Records Act into this case. Let's get to it. Joining us right now is Nick Ackerman. He's a former assistant special Watergate prosecutor and former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Nick, what do you think of this? Jack Smith is 100 percent right. There is absolutely no connection to the Presidential Records Act to this case whatsoever. It does not allow President, former President Trump to have said that certain documents are personal. Even the 11th Circuit, in considering the special master claim, made it very clear that Donald Trump has no possessory interest in these documents and that they do not belong to him. This is just completely off the wall. Completely off the wall as an argument. But if you read the subtext, I think the subtext is completely off the wall that you are even considering this, that this is even an issue, and that's on you, Judge Cannon. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Jack Smith makes it very clear that there is no connection to reality with the Presidential Records Act and the case that's before her. I mean, he does that by the law and also by the facts. I mean, there would be a factual issue here if Donald Trump could claim that he really thought that some of these documents were personal and could raise that as an intent defense uh, in his case. But the fact of the matter is Jack Smith points out that he never thought that these documents were covered by the Presidential Records Act. He's on tape saying that these are classified and he shouldn't have them. So this filing that Kate just read from, is this the type of filing you would do if you thought things were going okay with the judge overseeing your case? Of course not. I mean, he is basically setting up this judge for the fall before the 11th Circuit. He made it quite clear that she is totally, absolutely wrong on the law. And two, she's wrong on the facts that underline any defense. After receiving a filing like this from, you know, in, in, in your court, what are the options for how Judge Eileen Cannon responds to this? Well, I, I would hope that she goes back to the law books and realizes she's just dead wrong. I mean, Do you that's... think that's a possibility she should say, actually, I meant... Mm -hmm. After further review, I meant I would like to see jury instructions that have nothing to do with the Presidential Records Act. Could, could that happen? No, that can't have possibly based on what she has said already. I mean, it was such a preposterous uh, requirement that she gave both counsel on this because it wasn't based on anything in the law in the Presidential Records Act. So she's just got to come back and say, acknowledge she's wrong. And if she doesn't, she's got to decide this so that Jack Smith 
can take this up to the 11th Circuit. In either case, what are the chances that this case goes before a jury before the election? I, I'd say it's pretty slight at this point because... And getting it, slighter, I would I say. I think yeah. so, yeah, because unless she does something pretty quickly and acknowledges that she made a mistake here, uh, this case is going to just drag on. And if it goes up to the 11th Circuit, I'm sure they're going to act extremely quickly on this, as they did with the special master issue. But still, it's going to make this case drag out a bit longer. You know, Nick, Karen Friedman Agnifilo was on with us earlier, and she said the way this is written, what she sees in this, the simmering frustration, I think is how she described it. She sees this as suggesting Jack Smith is setting up to ask that Eileen Cannon be recused. I'm not sure if he would go that far, but he's certainly setting her up to take it to the 11th Circuit. Mm -hmm. When he gets to the 11th Circuit, sure, one option is to say that this judge is inexperienced, doesn't know what she's doing. This is the second time we've had to take her up to the 11th Circuit on what is really basic elements of law. And for that reason, she should be recused. Sometimes appeals courts will do that. This is not a filing from a happy special counsel. That's clear. By no means. All right. What have you met a happy special That's counsel? That's a good point. I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. You're only grumpy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Nick, thank you very much for that.